Hello, welcome back. In this session, we are going to learn about the SQL query order of execution. People say order of execution or order of operations. So both are same. SQL order of execution defines the order in which the classes of a query are evaluated. Some of the most common query challenges we run into could be easily avoided with clear understanding of SQL order of execution. Let's see what that means. If you understand the query order of execution, then it will help you to diagnose why a query won't run or even it will further helpful to optimize the query to run faster. Okay. So, uh, so before going into this uh, statement, uh, SQL is there in the industry, maybe more than 20 years, right? So in today's world, the modern world, there are many SQL planners are behind your DBMS system. Those SQL planners can do all sorts of tricks and uh, uh, optimization to make your query run more faster and efficiently. But they must always reach the same final answer, right? If your query planner is doing differently, then you may not get the result correctly. So all those SQL planners follow some sequence, then that will make sure the result is consistent for all runs. In general, all SQL query optimizers follow this sequence. First, it will select the table and on top of the table, if there are any filter conditions, those gets filtered out. Then we use the group by to aggregate and having to filter out the aggregation value based on the aggregation value. Then Windows function comes. Windows function comes between the having and order by class. Okay. So once the windows function is done, then the select query completes. That's why the select query comes as number six. So this result one, two, three, four, five and six creates the result set. Then once the result set is ready, then the order by class here, order by class and limit, these two will act on the result set and it will prepare the result set. Okay. So that's how the SQL query order of execution happens or order of operation happens. So if anyone, this is like a few, a few years back, this used to be a very common SQL interview question, but I don't know how nowadays what people are asking, but even though whether it is part of the interview question or not, but it is very important for you to understand the order of sequence, then it will make your life easy to prepare optimized queries also to avoid errors while writing the code okay so that's all for this session see you in the next session until then happy learning bye